1998 harnessing light was things were just starting to become embedded in society. Right now, we underpin so much of society. We need sort of this umbrella initiative to be able to form a critical mass and have people, decision makers, take notice and be informed about what we can do. We are at the, the threshold that where uh, optics and photonics is really in everybody's hands. It's in everybody's everyday life. These advancements that have been made in photonics and optics are truly changing the world and manufacturing is having a big piece of that. These advancements have really helped manufacturing make higher precision, you know, more accurate products for a multitude of market segments. We're really at a breakthrough point and the optics photonics technology is going to play a key role in helping us move to the next level of, uh, of dealing with diseases. This role of optics and photonics has continued to evolve and gotten much more sophisticated. We now have CT scanners which use x-ray imaging and optical detectors which can provide a whole high resolution scan of the human body in about five seconds. It's always important what these reports say, uh, but it is in fact way more important uh, what happens with the recommendation. It's a, such a diverse industry, it is impossible to provide solutions to each of the problem, but just point the way. And so it will be used all the way from guiding the lawmakers or the legislatures to appropriately fund the, the projects or the areas to have companies direct their resources to university, uh, modify their curriculum. I think it's important for policymakers to, to uh, study in particular the chapter on the economic impact and understand uh, the, the pervasive role that optics and photonics plays within many areas of both science and the commercial sector. I hope that policymakers will understand from this report just how important optics is to the nation, specifically in uh, the whole information era. Optics is a key technology for that. We basically would not have the World Wide Web and the Internet without optics. I think this is the most exciting time for optics and photonics. We are facing truly a new industrial revolution enabled by optics and photonics.